Good morning, afternoon, or evening, depending on what time of day you're watching this, or indeed whereabouts in the world you are. I am Mod, and it's been such a, such a, such a long time! But we're back with Euro Truck Simulator 2, and you may have noticed that Matilda's got a slight, um. Yeah, we'll talk about that as we go, but, but for, for now we need to. Why am I in Birmingham? We were in Aberdeen! Birmingham! Right. What have we got today? Sheffield? No. Eh, uh, it's doable. Maybe it's not very good for money. Don't want to go to Glasgow. I don't know what to take. Hmm. Uh, let's take this one, the forklifts. So yeah, things have been very, very, very busy of late. Hectically so. Game, why have you sent me to Birmingham when I was in Aberdeen? I just wish I could prove I was in Aberdeen now. So, Matilda is a very, very horrible shade of pink. No damage. Fantastic. Fire it up. Anybody coming? That'll do. Now, you may be sat there wondering, why is Matilda pink? Matilda's supposed to be black and then you painted Matilda purple as a thank you for Murtai driving Matilda quite nicely in episode 50. Well my friends! Well, well we will come to that but let's just say Lock of War is a fucking arsehole for donating a lot of money during the live stream which went really really well and I'll cover the live stream in a lot of detail very soon but first we need to concentrate on picking up the job. The job, the job, the job! And we want... Do we want to go to Reno? No, that's too far. Rotterdam. Yeah. Oh, no, we don't want to go to Glasgow. We're, we're, we're taking that one to Rotterdam, yes. We're going to go to mainland Europe. Pink Matilda. I have to keep this for ten episodes now. Fuck's sake. Yeah, let's, let's just um pick this thing up and just get on with it. I'm not happy about Matilda being in pink. So why have I done it? Because, like I say, someone made a very, very generous donations during the live stream. The live stream which happened and was very, very well received by everybody. Great fun had. Great fun. Lots of fun. But I am happy. I am no longer tired. I am rejuvenated. I am ready to go. Matilda's here for a good time. Yep. No damage. Let's see if we can actually complete this job without actually damaging you, eh, darling? We're in 1.6 at the moment. The game updated today, and which means it's ready for World of Trucks. There's blogs about that all over the place. If you want to go looking around on Facebook at the SCS page for a oh oh, oh no 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 we go left here. Yeah, apparently we go left here, and that'll tell you all about what World of Trucks is. Watson's had a play of it, and he tells me that it's basically just number plates and photograph editing at this moment in time. Uh, they have to put the foundations in place, I suppose. But if that, if that's all they've done for the foundations... Oh, well, Skoda. City Skoda. Don't pull out on me like that. Oh, no, you, then you have to go drive it. Oh, you fucker. That was your fault, Skoda. Stupid bloody thing. But it does make you wonder what SCS has been doing all this time. Anyway. Let us... Continue this for those of you that are new to the channel. Welcome. I'm mod. This is uh, the million mile challenge This is basically where I take the same truck Matilda and we are driving her for one million miles Which is good it, if I was just playing normally I'd have done it long ago But because we're recording every single but for every single mile we do and putting it onto YouTube and sharing it with the good people I don't want to go spamming people with your truck footage. So it's only fair that we only do say I don't know two episodes a week one on Thursday one on a Sunday and to date we've re 
reached 20,000 miles. And not only is this mini mile challenge... Oh shit. Yeah, that was my fault. Not only is this mini mile challenge um, a challenge, but we're also doing this for charity. And we're splitting the the million miles up to up into 100,000 mile blocks. We're at 20,000 miles at the moment and the, that's 2% of the way towards our total actually of the million miles. But that's also 20% of the way towards reaching 100,000 miles. And for the first block as it were, our first charity is Papyrus. And the goal for that is 500 pounds and if we reach this wonderful, marvellous, magnificent sum of money, this goal, this target, then I'll be shaving my hair off on a live stream, nice and live on the internet for everyone to point and laugh and go, haha, Mod, you're now a skinhead. But that's not all, uh, so, uh, um, how much we raised for charity so far, he cry. Well, last time I did this, I was going to say, um, big, big thank you to Chris Viking and cover it in the next episode about how he donated £40 in one go, taking it from £80 to 120 and then the live stream happened. We're now on three hundred and twenty-four pounds. For anybody interested, that's sixty-four percent of the uh, fundraiser goal. I may have to get a haircut soon. Ah! But of course, we can't just drive a truck and. We need to talk about stuff, so what we're talking about normally during Euro Truck videos is I use it as a uh, channel blog of sorts. So, sorry for the recap guys, but I, I've gone up a lot of subscribers since the last time I've properly done this. Last time, if my notes tell me we were on, where are we, 649 subscribers, which was just about, oh wait, right. cruise control on. The 18th of September, so that's just under a month ago, we last did a proper Euro Truck episode. Then we had the live stream, then I've had my two week break from YouTube, and people have kept on subscribing in the meantime, hoping to see new content. So, this is basically the. Uh, we're, on, we're on 751 now, by the way. It's gone up quite a bit. It, it always scares me just how much people actually enjoy supporting me. It's scary. It scares me somewhat. But not only are we raising money for charity, this is also my channel blog, and I like to talk about things relating to my other videos. So if you've got any questions at all, I usually answer them at the end of a Eurotrick video. So submit your questions and I'll be more than happy to answer them. Yes, indeedy doodly do. I will. I do. Assuming it's not a silly question, because silly questions I just tend to ignore. But to date we haven't had too many of those, so that's good. That's very good. Oh, oh, oh what's going on here? What's going on here? What is going on here? Big bit of a smash? What are you doing, people? Excuse me, moi. Um. Yes, anyway. It's time to get things back on track. Things were going slow-ish before the live stream because I had that really long journey that I split up into three episodes. There was the episode where Murtai took a turn and that was part of that little run, actually. And that was a lot of fun. Not, not many people watched that though. I thought people would be interested to see my girlfriend driving my truck. But no! Apparently you didn't! Despite it being one, one of the number one requests on my channel after I after I honoured most of the other requests. So, anyway. Waffling resumed. Well, I'll back business as usual, I suppose. Um, I, I suppose it, it might be worth hitting on the channel schedule, as it were. I generally do Eurotruck on Thursdays and Sundays. Minecraft on Wednesdays and Saturdays, F1 on Mondays and Fridays, and Kerbal on Tuesdays. So if you're a fan of any of those particular games, hang on for those particular days. I know quite a lot of people are interested in Kerbal recently, so that's Tuesdays, but I don't plan on increasing that more, because otherwise we lose the fun factor that me and 4040 have. But if you want to check out any of the other videos, Feel free to do so. I assure you, the Minecraft ones are quite manic. This Euro Truck one is well. If you don't like the sound of my voice, you're gonna hate it. If you don't like the sound of me giving people abuse, you are gonna hate it. In fact, if you don't have any sort of patience at all when it comes to watching someone driving a truck in a straight line, you're gonna hate it. So I suppose the number one question burning on everybody's lips after all that. 
assuming you haven't waffled too much and bored you to sleep, the number of questions are going to be mod. You had a two week break. Where the fuck is the footage from the live stream? Well, I'm sorry to tell you all that Twitch fucked up. They fucked up quite badly, actually, I'd say. Basically, they snuck out a little amendment to their uh, terms and conditions and how their pr how their website is used by users. Once upon a time, if you made a broadcast, it would stay on their website for an indefinite amount of time, and you just had to turn it into a highlight or a broadcast, and then you could upload it to YouTube that way. Now, however, if you do not specifically opt in to share your broadcasts, Twitch does not record it and save it to their website. So that's why there's no live stream footage because I didn't realise this until a couple of days ago when I was like, right, I suppose it'd be a good idea to get some Euro truck on the go, share it with the guys and girls at home. But then that's when I found that out and I was like, oh, okay. Well, not only that, but it turns out that should you do opt into this, you only get to save the footage for four to seven days anyway. Four, five, six or seven days and it's largely out of your control as to how many it's going to be that the footage is going to be saved to your Twitch channel. So by the time I'd looked it would have been out of date anyway. So thanks for sneaking that one in Twitch. I didn't get an email. I didn't get any pop-ups or notifications, nothing like that. Thanks for doing that because I've lost a good 1500 miles of footage that I'm never going to be able to get back and I've got nothing but the word of the people that attended the live stream that I actually did that mileage and that I completed the challenge and I did it in, I forget what unit of time now, I'm sure somebody will refresh my memory, I didn't write it down properly although I should have done. I wrote down the in-game time it took, about five days of in-game time. Well, think of, although that is assuming, of course, you know that uh, I could actually communicate to people properly. The biggest problem I had with the live stream, uh, apart from not being able to share it with you guys now, is that the, I also happened to hold the race across Europe on the same weekend that there was a League of Legends tournament, and they were running the semi-finals, and there were 350,000 people in the League of Legends chats, and they killed the chat servers. So anybody that did watch the live stream, about halfway through it, they couldn't talk to anybody. So thanks League of Legends for fucking up my live live stream. Very much appreciated. Well, I wasn't too impressed. I don't think many people were actually, truth be told. But we had a lot of fun. And when we got to the United Kingdom, I pulled over, got some guys into a Skype call. Out of everybody that's on Team Tuxedos, only Tort didn't show up, so it's nice to know my mates have got my back. Thank you very much Team Tuxedos for actually turning up to support me with the live stream. And thank you also to everybody else that turned up and donated money and participated in the chat while it worked. And thank you for being patient when the chat boxes were broken. Which was fucking annoying. Very fucking annoying. But, um. Like I say, I pulled over at one point and we got a few of the guys into the Skype chat because I was getting tired and I needed people to talk to. It was no fun for people. Basically, when I'm doing a live stream, I, I read the chat on the, sep on the second monitor and I thrive and I bounce off people and respond to what they're saying in the chat room. And I couldn't do that. So someone suggested on Skype, why don't you have a couple of us in the call with you? Okay. So we sorted out and suddenly the guys are ripping me and keeping me motivated and we're going and going and yeah thank you very much to Team Tuxedo you know which guy specifically joined in I can't remember I know there was a Watson and a Lock there was there a mic? I think there was a mic Squirrel? DF? did we have a 4040 in the chat? I can't remember it was, it was a good while ago now a good two weeks at least because straight after my live stream I had the break which I enjoyed quite a lot. The break was brilliant. I didn't do anything YouTube related and honestly I think it's just good to get the batteries recharged because now I'm just ready to get going on this again. And uh, I had a lot of fun with Murtai, I saw a lot of my friends, got a bit of overtime in at work. Yeah! Productive sessions were productive and oh, do we want to pull over here? Should, or should we wait for the ferry? Let's wait for the ferry. Actually, how long do we need to wait before sleep? Two hours. I don't know how far away we are from the ferry. 
So what else can we talk about uh, with the regards to channel updates? The release schedule have discussed the new live stream thing. Oh, uh, yeah, live stream related actually. I suppose it would be nice to actually read out the names of everybody that did donate money during the live stream. I have to give special mention to the guys because they were, there was a contest at one point to there's a contest to see who could donate the most and Lock of War won that by a mile arsehole. Lock of War managed to get it to 100 of your English pounds and yes Matilda they're moving, they're moving slowly at one point they were all level pegging on 50 quid each and I, said, I looked at the totals it was about 280 something I think and I said to people and people were saying turn Matilda pink at the time Matilda was still purple and they were saying turn Matilda pink and I said to them if it reaches 300 quid by the end of say I don't know the next hour or something or in the next period of time say 5-10 minutes if it hits 300 pounds then I'll pull over at the next town and I will paint Matilda whatever shade of pink you desire so Locker War says well I suppose you better check your chat uh, your uh, live stream page then mate not your live stream your charity page then so, I pull over, I check the charity page, and lo and behold, Locke had donated another £50. Say, so, thanks Locke, it's your fault we've got Dayglow pink on the side of Matilda. Matilda's supposed to be black, not pink. I don't like pink anyway, pink's a horrible, ghastly, vile colour, which is really, really only good for... nothing, actually. I can't think of anything pink is good for or looks good on. It's uh, it's a disgusting colour. It's horrible. What's good about pink apart from pissing me off? Thanks, Mertai. Mertai's just tapped me on the back to say, yeah, it, is, is there any good thing about pink as it pisses you off? Thanks, darling. So there we go. And uh, to thank Locke for the huge donation he made, because it, it, the hundred pounds is a lot of money by any account, unless you happen to be absolutely rolling in money, in which case it's not. But generally, for the for the normal person like us, hundred pounds is a lot. So big thank you to Locke, and I'm assuming your lady chipped in a bit as well towards that hundred pounds. So thank you to her as well. And hello to Baby Rude. Oh my God, Locke's got the cutest little kid. I don't want kids. I can't have kids. But ah, Rude is awesome. Locke's got Rune saying Matilda. It's funny. I like it. <laughs> but um. We c there's a thank you to Locke for the generous donation towards Ooh. Papyrus. There we are keeping Matilda Pink for 10 episodes, this being number 1. So this is episode 52. And Matilda will be allowed to be turned black again on episode 62. Come on. What else can we talk about? Um, well, we've specific, spoken about a live stream. Oh yeah, I suppose if anybody is wondering about how if they can look at the charity raised money themselves, and I'm oh, sorry if I'm waffling more than normal. I don't enjoy the waffling, believe it or not. Oh, whoops, speeding. What a shame. But if anybody would like to um, bear in mind that I do have a full-time job as well, and I am very tired. There's not many people at work, and they've asked me to work extra hours and. Don't get me wrong, the money's gratefully accepted right now because uh, I've got the rest of this week, all the next week, and then I'm off the week after. And I'm going to do bugger all. I'm going to do my YouTube stuff, but other than that, I'm going to do nothing. But if you would like to actually go to the web page in question where you can actually see how much money you've raised so far. That's right, steal by money. Who needs money? Where are we going? Straight on. Then uh, go to justgiving.com slash mod1982. And again, uh, uh, I keep... I, I'm forgetting. I'm zigzagging. I'm caterpillaring. I'm do I can't get what I'm doing right. I'm just all over the place. This is re I'm really, I really am out of shape when it comes to Euro Truck. And I really am tired today, it seems. More than... Well, it's not the most tired I've ever been. But 
the donators during the live stream getting back on subject. Let's go towards Rotterdam. Well, myself. Because it's not fair for me to ask people to donate money if I'm not going to put anything in myself. So I put money in. Watson donated. An American gentleman called Jake who understands exactly where we're coming from when it comes to depression and suicide. And that's the whole point of what Papyrus does. They deal with prevention of teen suicides and a large part of suicide for me is depression and because I have a lot of personal experience with depression and also some of my friends in the, over here in the UK have actually lost friends through suicide then this is my way of helping them so Jake he understands where we're coming from and why we're doing what we're doing and he was a very generous donator thank you sir uh, we, there was DF Lock Wanker Chris Viking, in addition to his previous donations, for, to bump it up to where it was in the first place, he also donated during the live stream. So thank you again, sir. Uh, Squirrel, and we raised over two hundred pounds in one single live stream session. And that's pats on backs all round. Thank you very much, guys. You're awesome. And if you're sat there thinking I don't want to donate or I can't afford to donate, how can I help you, mod? Very simple leave a thumbs up on the bottom of this video and any other videos I'll make and share the videos so if you can't help donate then at least spread the word to somebody else that might want to that's all I ask and how's the thumbs up help that? well it makes my videos more visible in Google ratings whether it's up or down thumbs up or thumbs downs count as ratings and the more ratings I have the higher I am in search engine results so anytime you get a video of mine please hit the thumbs up it makes things more visible for me and gets me more exposure and then woo, and then hopefully more people will be joining in donating money for a good cause oh let's be naughty let's go around the light yeah apparently if you go around the light you don't get ticketed bit naughty I know did I also mention Matilda is fucking big I don't like pink. Do not like pink at all. Right, time to make a parking. As usual, we do not skip the parking section because we like the bonus and also we haven't skipped a single one yet, so why should we start now? Why aren't the roof lights on? Roof auxiliary, please. Thank you. How did I not notice that before? This is when it balls up because I balls up so many times recently. How hard is it to reverse and park a truck? Very, apparently. Well, there's attempt number one, anyway. Da, 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 over a bit more Matilda why did you stall you stupid truck I'm sorry you're not stupid you're beautiful apart from the fact you're in pink pink doesn't suit you darling it should be black yes black Matilda should be black Much more macho a colour. See, Matilda does agree. You just can't hear what she's saying right now, guys. Matilda wants to be black too, and she hates lock. She hates lock clots. Thank you, Tildy. No, she's not listening. She's too busy working. Oh, that'll do. That uh, says so it's parked. As soon as it comes up green, that's it, I'm done. Good work, show the results. We are a bit richer. Actually, what is our total money at the moment? 35,000. Can we pay off a loan? We can pay off that one. Is it a good idea to? That will leave us with hardly any money to do anything else with. In fact, that will send us shooting into the black. 
the red even if we get a loan repayment due so let's leave that for now next episode we'll just take a bigger journey and get more money so anyway thank you very much for watching i've been mod if you enjoyed this please take the time to leave a thumbs up if you think your friends might enjoy this please share this with them and uh, dream big we'll see you next time bye bye